Hi guys, Dave Wilson here again and today some quick tips on how to maintain your Pepe Tools Ultra Series rolling mill. So, grab your mill, follow me. So, first things first, you need to keep it clean of any dust and dirt and debris. Use a brush or a paintbrush, something like that. And make sure that there's no dust or particles anywhere. So, just a general wipe over, remove any particles or bits of metal or debris. Now then, we need to keep the rollers very clean and polished and protected. So, there's a great little trick for doing this. So, I need three things. I've got a lint-free cloth here. This is just one of those blue duster type things. I've got a little piece of dowel and this has been specially cut to fit in between the width of the rolling mill there. So, use a pencil, handle of a wooden spatula, piece of dowel, anything. And I've also got some metal polish here. Uh, you can get this from auto stores, car parts, and it's designed for polishing car bumpers, motorcycles, basically anything metal. And it cleans it and it also gives a protective finish as well. And this is one of the most popular kinds. So I've got my cloth and I've folded it over a few times so it's just about the right width to go in the mill there. And I'm going to put in the centre the piece of dowel and fold it over. Now then as I feed it through it will eventually get to the point where the dowel is and it won't go through. So at that point just turn the rollers down till they meet. Not too tight but just turn them down and then what you should find is that the rollers will turn but the cloth won't go through. Now I'm just going to put some of the metal polish on my finger there and I'm going to paint it all along the rollers okay and it's very important that you get all the way across now as I turn the handle the cloth will pick up the polish and then it will start to polish the actual the rollers Now if you've got a combination roller here you might find that you can't quite get into the grooves so show you a little trick that I use for this. So just open the rollers a little bit, a little bit wider and get a piece of sponge and you need to hold it very firmly and as you wind it through just keep a tight hold of it and you can see here where it's picked up some of that polish in between the grooves. So once you're happy with it all just get a clean cloth again, use your dowel and pop that through to polish it. Now a great little tip here if you've got bits of dirt in these fine grooves and it's difficult to get in the grooves use a piece of string just feed it through and this is really great you can put some polish on if you want and this is a really great way of polishing inside all those grooves there. So finally, with a clean cloth inserted again with the dowel in there, I'm going to use some 3-in-1 oil and just apply it liberally to the surface of the rollers and just wipe it round to make sure that all parts of the rollers are well coated with oil. Now whilst you've got the oil out, you should also apply some oil to all the parts that move. In particular, these are the brass bushings. There's one at this side and one at the other side. So if you just add a drop of oil on the top there, and then the same on the other side and the oil will soak down the sides and help to lubricate them and again just at the edge of the rollers there and you can put a little bit on the screws if you want as well you can if you want put a little bit of grease on the gears here but to be honest it's not really necessary they'll be, they'll be absolutely fine so it's been cleaned, polished and all the rollers and moving parts have been given the light coating of oil. As a last thing, because I live in a damp country, England, this is a huge bag of silica gel crystals. This is a drying agent. 
and what I can do with this is I pop this up against the roller and then I cover it up and what happens is that bag of silica gel that helps to keep it really dry and avoid any moisture or condensation on the mill so there we go nice and safe I've been Dave Wilson thanks for watching and I'll see you real soon on the next video bye for now